the State Treasurer of Maryland, Nancy Kopp. Uh, she's going to discuss what Maryland is doing to heighten awareness of financial literacy among youth and adults and the proposed actions to be taken in the school system, adult education, and the private sector. Thank you. I need to uh, come up with a better I, I have better to say, I, to say I, uh, yeah, I just came back from, uh, from, from visiting some relatives in another unnamed city and found out that there I was just known as the white hair lady. <laughs> so I, it's great, whatever. Um, I too want to join the mayor and the two comptrollers in welcome, and Kiplingers, uh, in welcoming the money bus uh, to Baltimore and to Maryland. It is a great device. It's a symbol of the importance of knowing how to manage your money. Whether the subject is budgeting, savings, college, college funding, retirement, all those moments in our lives where we have to have the information and the skills to take control, to take control of our own lives through taking control of our own investments and our own spending. As, as the chief investment officer for the state, I know there is no better investment than education. And I know that uh, the comptroller, Comptroller Peter Franchot, is going to speak uh, in a moment about, uh, about the campaign to get financial literacy, education, and skills trainings into our public schools. I want to mention a couple of uh, other things, and that is that everyone should know that there is a statewide coalition across the state of Maryland, public sector, private sector, in every county. The banks, the investment advisors, the uh, counselors, the schools have all come together to, to be a great coalition, pressing not only for education, but for information. In the, own, the, the area that I work in, most college savings for Maryland, we have created a vehicle where all the parents, all the uh, grandparents, white hair folk of Maryland can invest in the college education of their children, whether the, the kids go to school in Maryland or elsewhere. The taxpayers, the state of Maryland, have created a device, Maryland College Savings Plans, which you can look up on the internet to make a great investment, not only in education, but a great investment in your own children. In the area of housing, we talked about housing a year ago and the problems that people were facing. And I mentioned a couple of programs that the state, the, the O'Malley administration was presenting to the people of the state of Maryland. I just want to reiterate it. The most important one is Maryland Hope. Maryland Hope is not only a set of several programs, but it is a telephone number, a hotline that people can call for advice, whether it's rental housing or the home that you are li living in and want to stay living in. Let me give you one telephone number. It was one of the only telephone numbers I'll give you this morning, but I hope people will take note of it. It's one 877 Four six two seven five five five. But if you didn't get that and write it down, look up Maryland State Department of Housing, HOPE. There are folks at the other end of the line who will actually answer the telephone. They're there and they want to talk to people. The second one is the hotline. Across the state, 211 for specific problems, when you need advice quickly, when you need help quickly, it's the hotline. And thirdly, the Attorney General's office. Attorney General Douglas Gansler has an office of consumer protection that is out there working against scams, against fraud, against people who want to take away your money, your home. The Consumer Protection Office, just look up Office of Attorney General Consumer Protection and Mr. Gansler and his staff are there. And, and finally, uh, uh, one last one. Uh, when you've tried everything else, look up State Treasurer Nancy Kopp. I answer my phone too. We are there working not only for education, but for immediate help. We are, we are sponsoring seminars across the state. There'll be a seminar for women in uh, Western Maryland, in Frederick, in Frederick next week. 
to help people learn how to take on the responsibility of budgeting, of investing, of saving, so that we all have a safe and secure life and retirement. And with that, I thank you again for coming back to Maryland.